So let's look at uh, this problem. This is the ratio of uh, two random variables, but the ratio itself is functions of uh, random variables. So you have x and y, you have minimum of a uh, minimum statistics and maximum. Uh, so one thing we can see is z will be always less than one because minimum over maximum will be always less than one. So let me do this for uh, non-negative uh, random variables. X and Y are non-negative. It doesn't have to be, it's just a little easier. So to start with X and Y are non-negative uh, random variables. Uh, that means the joint density function of X and Y is only defined in the, is non-negative in the first quadrant and it is zero everywhere else. Uh, so let's start with the z, which is min over max uh, So as we saw earlier in whenever we are dealing with min and max It's uh, Makes sense to partition this whole region in terms of x greater than y and x less than y So if x is greater than y minimum will be y and maximum will be of course x. So this is y over x and similarly, when <coughs> x is less than y, uh, minimum over maximum will be x over y. So that's the simple partition. Remember, partition has the, so we are partitioning around this line. This is the line x equal to y. Uh, so if you call this event to be A, this is A complement. A union A complement is the whole set. So starting with the distribution function of z, that is probability of z less than or equal to z. So I can write this as, of course, probability of z less than or equal to z. Interse uh, intersection with <coughs> a union a, a, <coughs> a complement. Remember, this is, uh, this is a and this is a complement. Uh, so A and A complement are mutually exclusive. This whole thing is uh, the whole set. So whole set intersection with any set is itself. So that's the same as, uh, on the other hand, you can write this as probability of Z less than Z uh, intersection with A uh, plus probability of Z less than Z intersection with A complement. So let me write that, start with that line. So if Z is, uh, uh, probability of uh, <coughs> uh, z less than z and x greater than y plus probability of z less than z uh, x less than y the two two regions I just substituted for a and a complement and now we can uh, the advantage is so a complicated problem nonlinear problem we have uh, we have been able to, uh, sim we can simplify using this partition because when x is greater than y, z is simply y over x. So we can write this as probability of y over x less than z, x greater than y plus in the <coughs> when x is less than y, it's x over y uh, less than z when x is less than y. Now, if x and y are non-negative random variables, I can bring up this x here, so this is y less than xz and x greater than y uh, plus probability of x less than yz when x is less than y. So we can try to find uh, this region. So maybe let's draw. Uh, so this is the region x greater than y. And this is the region x less than y here. And, and remember, <coughs> in all these problems, if you look at the z, z is minimum over maximum. So z at the z is always between zero and one. It's positive because x and y are non-negative random variables. So if you look at this line, y equal to. Uh, so this is the line x equal to y. So we have two graphs. Uh, so I have 
oh no, there, this region is x greater than y, then we need this line y equal to x z. Remember, uh, z is uh, less than 1, so that line will go like this. This is y equal to x z, because when x is 1, when x is 1, y has to be less than 1. So this is, when x is something here, y is, uh, y is equal to x, here y is less than uh, x. So the line will be below that. <coughs> and we need the region where x c is greater than y, so that would be this region. So this is the region where uh, x is, because if you go vertically, this point is x c equal to y. So a point below will be, that y will be less than, or x c will be greater than y. And uh, so that's the region to integrate. And here if you come similarly, x equal to y z. Uh, so x is less, uh, so this is x, this is the line x equal to y. This is region x less than y. So x, uh, so that line will go like this. This is the line x equal to y z because z is uh, less than 1. So whatever is the value of y, x is less than that. x is y z. z is less than 1. And the region where y, <coughs> y z is greater than x will be this region. So together, you need to integrate. So we can simplify this together by simply drawing one region. and. Uh, so we need to integrate the over here and here, which is the same as 1 minus, in easiest thing is to integrate over here, for example. So this is the line, this is the line x equal to y, and this is the line y equal to x, z, and this is the line x equal to y, z. So so the <coughs> this probability here is the same as integrating over this region plus this region. That's integrating over this region plus the region. Remember, the density function is 0 everywhere. So that's the same as, so this is the same as 1 minus integrating the uh, joint density function over this region. Uh, so f x y x comma y d x uh, d y, and here quickly, uh, so for example, or d y d x. Let's say I, the way I have it here is I integrate on y first. D y d x. So y goes from you can see y goes from x z to uh, this point, which is x over z. And remember, z is less than 1, so this makes sense. And x goes from, you can see, 0 to infinity. So that's the distribution function. It's, uh, <coughs> so finally, if you want the density function, uh, we could simply substitute the, uh, we could simply take the derivative. So fcz is going to be uh, d by dz of uh, fcc. So the derivative of this, <coughs> so you have a minus, derivative of this is 0, then minus derivative goes through this. So essentially we need to take the derivative of this integral, xz to x over z, fxy, x comma y, uh, dy, and then dx. So this is where we could use the Leibniz rule, which says if you have a function which is uh, of this form and uh, then it's a derivative with respect to z is the derivative of the top limit with respect to z so that would be dbz by dz and in the integrand uh, the variable of integration you replace by the limit so that will be h of uh, bz comma z minus, do the same thing on the denominator, but with uh, the lower limit. So that would be, I mean, do the same thing on the lower limit with a minus sign. So that would be h of uh, az comma 
is z and the third term is what we do usually which is leave the limits as they are take the inside partial derivative with respect to z so if you apply here the derivative of the top limit with respect to z is a minus 1 over z squared so i'll just write it here so this minus cancels on that term so you have the outside limit so the derivative of this is x over minus z squared as i said minus <coughs> cancels then you have fxy remember here the variable of integration is y so instead of y i am going to put x over z minus the derivative <coughs> with the minus sign so that minus minus becomes plus the derivative of the bottom limit with respect to z which is x then we substitute that here so this is x comma xc and uh, plus <coughs> the derivative with respect uh, derivative of the inside quantity with respect to z this is not a function of z so there is no more contribution so this is the answer now we can uh, specific problems you can substitute and uh, simplify and see what happens for example we can quickly see if uh, x is exponential let's say with parameter lambda y is independent exponential with parameter lambda <coughs> then fcc turns out to be integral 0 to infinity x over z squared so this is let's say <coughs> lambda e, lambda squared e raised to minus x plus y so this is uh, x plus x over z with a lambda here and here you have x uh, lambda squared e raised to minus uh, x plus so 1 plus z is common then x then lambda whereas here so you just need to <coughs> this is 1 plus z then x over z so you just need to solve this integral and see what the answer turns out to be so i'm going to leave it here you can simplify and see what uh, comes up so that will be the density function of z and we know that this answer is uh, for z between uh, 0 and 1 so